I'm going to teach the tune Groundhog. Let's get in tune. We're in open G tuning, so from the first string we'll have a D note, second string's a B note, third string's a G note, fourth string's a D note, fifth string's a G note. Here's what we're going to learn today. One, two, three, four. Before we dig into this tune, let's talk about how it's structured. This is a short and sweet tune. It consists of four phrases. The first phrase is the call phrase. Second phrase is the response phrase. Third phrase is the call phrase repeated. Fourth phrase is the final response. Fiddle tunes could be compared to two people having a conversation, or blues music. You have the first phrase, the call. It's when the first person is asking a question. Then you have the second person answering the response. Then first person asks the same question again, so it's the call, repeated. And then the second person responds in a different way, so final response. I'll play you your first phrase, the call phrase, one and uh, two. break this down into the basic melody. We'll start off by hitting your third string open, followed by hitting your fourth string on the fourth string third fret. Then hit your third string open again, followed by your fourth string open. So what we have is open third, Fourth string, third fret, third string open, fourth string open. Let's play that together. One, and uh, two, and uh. Now that you have the core melody of the first phrase, all you have to do is add in the rhythm the strum top after the melody notes. So you have third string open, followed by strum top, then fourth string third fret, hitting it, followed by strum top, then hit your third string open, followed by strum top, and then hit your fourth string open, followed by strum top. Let's play that together. One, and uh, two, and uh. I'll play you your second phrase, your response phrase. One, and uh, two, and uh. Let's break this down into the core melody. I'll play it for you. One, and uh, two, and uh. So this phrase starts off by hitting the first string open. Then hit your second string, first fret, then hit your first string open again, and then hit your second string open. So let's play that together. One, and uh, two, and... Uh. Now 
Now you just need to add in that rhythm. So it'd be first string, open, followed by strum top. Second string, first fret, hitting it, followed by a strum top while holding this finger down. Then hit your first string open, followed by a strum top. And then second string open, followed by a strum top. Let's play that together. One, and uh, two, and uh, Let's try and put the first and second phrase together. One and uh, two and uh. third phrase, your call phrase. Your third phrase is just like your first phrase. I'll play it for you. One, and uh, two, and uh. Let's go over this phrase again, even though you probably already know it. You're going to start off by hitting your third string open, Followed by strum top. Then hit your fourth string, third fret. Followed by strum top. Then hit your third string open, followed by strum top. Then hit your fourth string open, followed by strum top. Now you're ready for your fourth and final phrase. Here it is. One and uh, two. And uh. So we'll start off by hitting your fourth string open, followed by strum top. Then hit your fourth string third fret, followed by strum top. And then hit your third string open, followed by strum top two times in a row. So let's play that fourth phrase together. One, and uh, two, and uh. play the whole song. One, and uh, two, and uh. 